Hi, I'm Melissa from Active Galactic Videos, and we're here at Palomar Observatory about to take a tour of the 200-inch Hale Telescope, one of the most famous telescopes in the world. Mm -hmm. Construction for the 200-inch was completed in 1939, but it didn't actually see first light until 1949, four years after World War II. The mirror used in this telescope was initially going to be made out of quartz, but instead was made out of pyrex because quartz would flex more under its own weight. Two mirrors were made because the first casting failed, so a second mirror blank had to be made. The primary mirror used in this telescope has a diameter of 200 inches, or 5.1 meters. Unlike today's mirrors that are spun into the concave parabolic shape needed, this mirror started out as a slab of pyrex that was slowly ground into a concave shape. It also does not have equal thickness throughout. It is 24 inches thick at its edges and only 19 inches thick at the center. The mirror grinding and polishing process took 13 years, but four of those years were because the process was halted due to World War II. The mirror has a thin layer of aluminum that coats the surface and has to be re-aluminized every 18 to 24 months using this aluminization chamber. This process takes about nine to 10 days to complete, so the telescope is closed during this time. The Hale Telescope was the most productive telescope between 1948 and 1993. It has been and still is being used in research, including solar system studies, extrasolar planets, stellar population and evolution, and characterization of remote galaxies. Data collection instruments are located at the bottom of the telescope assembly. This is where the cameras and adaptive optic systems are located. Although the telescope is now guided by computers, when it was first constructed, an astronomer would sit at prime focus and keep the telescope pointed at exactly the right location. The mounting structure was a new truss system, the Serrurier truss, invented in 1935. It was designed to flex with gravity and maintain optical alignment. Operators handle the controls for the telescope's movement and the movement of the dome. The astronomers control the software running the cameras and other data collection instruments. The telescope can either be operated on site in this room within the dome or remotely. The dome that we're standing in right now, from the ground to the top, is 135 feet tall, and it's 137 feet wide. At the time of its construction, this dome was the largest observatory dome in the world, and it weighs about 1,000 tons. The dome itself is double-walled, which acts as thermal insulation. The telescope base and dome are actually two separate structures. This helps cut down on vibration from wind. Right now, the dome is rotating on 32 trucks with four wheels each. They are another reason vibration is reduced when the dome is moving. This takes about five and a half minutes to complete one full rotation. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to Caltech and Palmar Observatory. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel below.